But look, the, the other thing that, that struck me was just the way things go round and round, because um, Access All Aerials, when, yes. when Carl Munson started that out at Seal Hain, yeah. um, they went immediately online. They didn't have an FM signal. Yeah, but I can understand why they might have wanted to go online, because you, you can be so much... Because they're quite an explicit... Because they have the need to be explicit sometimes, you can kind of understand why that decision... If you think about it logically, Will, yeah. you kind of can understand why they made the decision to go online. It's, 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 it's obvious. Yeah, but the thing is that now they're coming back again because they're, they're going to be on the DAB signal as well. Fine, fine. But sometimes you... Sometimes you want to talk about subjects and stuff that that cannot be spoken about on morning radio. Okay. So if you're... If you know that's what you want to base a show on, then do not, you know, it's much easier to pay $50 a month for, to go on, to get a Spreaker membership. I'm not, I'm not sponsored by Spreaker, or this show is sponsored by Spreaker in, 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 a, in a sense, and I'm not promoting any, you know, I don't promote these things. Um, but I'm just saying, it's just an example. You, you, because they, because Sue Hing used to deal in situation, deal with situations that, because it was a place for disabled people. Right. They might have, some disabled people might have found it hard not to know that it's, they might not have, understand the con concept of what appropriate broadcasting is. You're right, okay. So that's probably why they chose to go online, because it's quicker, it's easier, um, and it, it was suitable at the time. Right. That so, might have been so we might so we might still still need the same range the same yeah. options. Yeah, I'm just assuming that's what that's what it is. But it might have been something else why they chose not. But all I'm saying is it doesn't it doesn't mean see it doesn't mean a show is better or worse because they broadcast on FM signal um, versus internet. I don't think we should be doing that. But then you're always going to get a section of the audience that would prefer to listen to it on the internet but you're also going to get those 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 member those audience audience the section of the other side of the audience wanting to listen to it on um just through the radio because they like the idea of having to tune into a certain radio station you see i like the idea of being able to say yeah 106.8 fm i like the idea of that so they some you know but if I was at university or doing something on my machine, I would just use my machine because it's because it's 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 faster, it's simpler. Yeah. You know. Yeah. But if I was doing painting or something, I might choose to use a radio because it's portable. Right. So whatever suits an organisation or an individual, I would say, but. That's, but I'm not promoting either way. Uh, but I do think, I still think that FM has its place at this time. Yeah. And uh, if people, if old people want to listen to the radio in the way that they do, that's fine. Yeah. I don't think that should be taken away. No. Because I, I used to, I, I, I used to watch the wrestling when I was a teenager. And I used to stay up really, really late. Sometimes I wasn't getting to sleep till four o'clock in the morning. Um, but anyway, there, there is a there is a point to the question. Um, the question is that I used to that I want to make a confession to the audience and say that I used to listen to classic FM at four o'clock <laughs> in the morning. Classic FM. Well, yeah, because I used to find it I used to find it rela a relaxing thing to do. So oh right. It's because I, I before I had use of a phone. Um, I wanted an alarm clock because I wanted to <laughs> set times that I need to get up. So if if, if my program started at one at one a.m., I used to be up 
at half past 12 in the in, uh, midnight, <laughs> ready to watch it, because it used to go on to 2, to 1 a.m. until 4 a.m. on a Monday, on a, on a, on a Tuesday morning. Um, so I used to set an alarm for that, but to get back to sleep, I used to what, listen to classic FM some of the time. Right. Because I used to find it relaxing. So I can understand why people don't want the FM signal completely taken away. No. Well, I think we're... Because we're, we're there is a use for it. Yeah. Well, I think we're fairly confident till 2030 well, the FM signal's going to survive. There you go. That, maybe longer. That, that maybe longer. Nobody knows. So I wouldn't... Somebody does know, but I wouldn't try and antagonise it any further because <laughs> if people do it, they will they will end up taking it away. And no, all right, we won't we won't tempt folk. No, but if they do, if if people really really are beginning to dislike this FM signal, well, they don't dislike it. No, they'd like to sell it off for something else. That's all. Yeah, but we want to try and encourage them not to sell it off for something else. Play another record, John, or, or a track. Okay, I should say. Yeah, transfer been, a digital file into the we've whatever been talking, it is. We've been talking about. Um, so, and I think we need to play a track. So I'm going to play Sweet Home Alabama. <laughs> <laughs> 